Hi, this is Sean Nichols with D3.co.uk. Here in San Francisco, speaking with Lauren States from IBM. And Lauren, I understand companies come out with some uh, some new space, some new services, some new products. Kind of just go over exactly what uh, what IBM's doing today. Uh, well, thank you, Sean. Nice to meet you. Uh, and so today, what we've done is we've made some um, very very significant announcements around cloud and the enterprise. Uh, and let me just um, kind of frame it for you. We start with this notion that clients are really starting. We're at an inflection point for cloud computing, and they're starting to really think about moving their production workloads and, um, you know, developing new business models in the cloud. And so working with our clients over the past years, we've started to um, understand the different characteristics of what they're trying to do and have come out with this idea that we should be delivering services that are client-controlled. So we refer to that as the client-controlled cloud. Um, and in that, we've announced the IBM Smart Business Prize, a smart business cloud for um, uh, both Enterprise and Enterprise Plus, and we allow clients to make choices in terms of what infrastructure do you want, what level of security do you need, what kind of availability are you looking for, what are the levels of performance, and how would you like to pay for it. So it's all controlled by what they want to do. So maybe perhaps they're deploying a web application and they don't need necessarily um, you know, uh, such high degree of, of security for whatever the application is. They can choose that, or it could be an ERP application and it's got to be five nines and they can choose that and they can choose the platform they want to deploy it on and the means by which they want to pay. So, question? Oh, yeah, this is something we were kind of discussing earlier is that one of the things we've heard is a lot of companies are kind of unsure about getting into the cloud because of things like security or um, you know, isolating their nodes, that sort of thing. The Enterprise Plus, this actually is something that IBM is really looking to address here. Yeah, I mean, we've spent a lot of time working on security, both you know in the cloud and outside of the cloud. And we have the notion that you really need to design to security. And there's a lot of um, capability, there are a lot of technology that you can use to provide the level of security to match whatever level of risk um, that you're able to take as an organization. Of course, you have to um, factor in all the different regulations that exist across the different industries. Um, and so, you know, we have worked with companies uh, from federal um, defense agencies to life sciences firms to figure out what level of security that they need in their cloud infrastructures, how we can design it um, so that they can be comfortable with uh, the level of uh, security, whether their data is, um, you know, off-premise or even within a shared service. Um, on, on a premise as within federal government. We have a lot of agencies interacting. You know, there's more to do in that area, and there's, there's more that we'll learn. But, you know, my view is that security really yields to a really granular understanding of what you're trying to achieve and design. And then um, you've got to make some business decisions and where you can deploy to it. Great. Thanks a lot for taking the time to talk Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you.